Welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new here, my name is Ali Darga. I post videos every single Sunday and today we have part two of spirituality and kind of the basics of that. So if you're interested, keep on watching. Okay, so if you haven't watched my first part of this, definitely go and watch that first. It's just going to be easier and breaking it down. But kind of what I wanted to get into in this one a little bit more is just, you know, crystals and visualization and stuff like that. Also things like tarot and oracles. Sorry, my freaking fire alarm is going off and it's so annoying. In the last video, I talked about how you can visualize through journaling. Well, I want to talk about visualizing through just visualizing. So how you get into a flow state, it's the best thing in order to manifest, is getting into a flow state. So I talk about how you can meditate in the first video. Well, in this one, after you meditate, I usually will sit there for a little bit longer and I will just think about the things. And you probably already do this. Um, I think it's pretty normal to say that a lot of people will dream before going to bed and actually having real dreams. They'll think of something and they'll relive something or whatever it be in their mind. What you're doing when you're doing that is you're attracting whatever you're thinking. Rather, it's happening to you in a form of you know, what you want, or it's showing you the energies that you are most present in what your desire is. So if it's something where you're jealous and you want something bad to happen to somebody else, you're going to receive more things bad happening to you. Um, you are kind of what you put out. So the projection of other people is kind of what's internally happening to you. Everything projected outside of your world is because of your inner feelings. So definitely focusing on that and being self-aware is going to be your number one most important thing because that's going to determine what your visualizations bring you. So how do you visualize? You visualize just by its natural. You know, the more you do it, the easier it's gonna be. You visualize by just putting in the emotion. You can, you can visualize something and not have it happen because the emotions behind it need to be strong. You need to have a right mindset, a right understanding of why you want what you want and know that it's going to come to you. Like wholeheartedly believe that whatever you want is yours and that you can receive it. You are the co-creator of your life with the universe and that's the really really awesome thing is that it's, it's a partnership. It's not just you having to grind your life away. You know, the universe really does want to bring you good, and you have to let them bring you good. And that's kind of something that I can make another video on if it's a little confusing. I'm trying to keep it at a basic level so it's an understanding, but not a full round circle where it's like too much to grasp. Chakras. There's a book, actually. I want to pull it out so you can see it. Okay, so this book is called Chakras for Beginners. It's 101, 101 things you need to know about chakras. The ultimate beginner's guide to awaken, balance, self-heal through the power of chakras. So this book is so perfect for if you're just kind of trying to get the understanding of it. And you know, there's a really like awesome intro that they have to this too. So this book is like, it's such an easy read. You can see how big the font is. Um, but it gives you like the history on the chakras, things like that. Like believe it or not, there are actually 88,000 chakras distributed through your body. So here you can see in the diagram that um, all of these chakras, there's seven and they all have a specific color attached to them. So what these chakras are is it kind of has energy sources to those 88,000. But these are the main ones because it's easier to grasp and put it in certain diagrams. I kind of think of this like food groups. Like you have your food groups in your pyramid, same thing. Like you have different um, understandings of what they are. The thing about this book that really threw me off is the coloring on this is not usually what it is. I'll tell you what the coloring is in my mind and I actually learned this in school when I went to school for SDology. So it's kind of funny that we learned this in class. Um, I didn't take it seriously, but now I really, really love chakras. So this is the crown chakra. It's usually purple. This one helps with spirituality. This one here, this is the third eye. It's usually like, I don't know if it's like a violet or like a blue. It's like a violet. This one is really, really great with like intuition and like being aware. This one here is the throat chakra. It's usually blue. And so this helps with communication. This here is a heart chakra. It's usually green and it's more like obviously like love and like being able to heal and stuff like that. It's usually yellow. This is a solar plexus chakra. Kind of where you get your wisdom, your confidence, your power. 
Um, this is your sacral chakra. It's usually orange. And this is kind of like your creativity and your sexuality. And then here we have your root chakra. It's usually red, so it's kind of your root of like who you are. It's, it's your basic trust in yourself and life around you. So chakras are really, really awesome for that reason alone. Um, what else do we have on my list? Crystals. So let me pull out a few of my crystals that I really, really like. So here's just a few that I like. So we have the tiger's eye. It's probably not going to focus, but this one's really, really pretty. This one helps with, like, and every crystal has like different things that they help you with. And you can actually look up on Google and like type in like what you need help with and then crystals and it'll probably come up for you. But I hate it. That scares me. But this one helps with grounding. It clears negative energy to tap into your third eye. So tiger's eye is really, really awesome. It's so pretty. It's I love it. Uh, the next one is Clear Quartz. So I love this one. My roommate actually got me this. This one helps with some spiritual growth and also healing. The next one is a Red Jasper. Um, I have a different one that I had in mind when I pulled this, but I honestly don't know what I did with it. It might be out in the family room. But Red Jasper helps with courage and, you know, lust for life. Okay, so tarot and oracle deck. So you can see significance in their sizing. Tarot's a lot smaller. There's a lot more to this deck. There's 78 cards in this. And then I actually don't know how much comes in an oracle deck. I think they're all kind of different. It doesn't say. Oracles have words on them. Mine's a little bit darker, but I really, really love this deck. So like, for example, there's like words at the bottom of this. Um, and then there's a book that kind of reads messages. These are really easy to use, especially in beginners. I got a tarot deck before I got an oracle, but I love my oracle deck. And then tarot, um, it's more for interpretation. It's a picture, so you read pictures. But I guess like pendulums, I don't own one. I've never done pendulums before, but usually that's... Sorry, I have hair in my face. That is a yes or no answer. So um, to me, oracles are if you just need one message. Tarots are if you like have a whole thing where you just want like a deeper reading but you know people read oracles as if they read tarot I just personally don't like those readings um, if I'm gonna get a tarot reading I don't want it to be an oracle reading there's a difference to me in the sense that I want somebody to interpret it and add more meaning than an oracle deck can give um, but both are really awesome it's actually kind of cool you can like look up tarot readings for free online um, and then there's so many people that do these kind of readings on Twitter too so like follow like spiritual Twitter accounts and they'll always do readings and you can support locally that way too so I def definitely recommend checking that out um, it's really really fun so those are really really great the uh, tarot and oracle they're great for when you need more of an understanding of something of, of a clarity um, I personally like to do more tarot readings and kind of take what I need to resonate with and like leave the rest so um, just check them out. They're really, really awesome. The last thing is, what does shadow work mean and why is it important? So shadow work, this is the most important part. Spirituality is not all positivity all the time. Uh, growth is messy. Growth is not easy. And growth experiences a lot of change and disruption in your life. So shadow work is going back into your life and realizing what happened in the past and you know, going through a process of healing, and healing usually is not one straight line, it's, um, it's a lot of messiness, and the point of spirituality is to find, you know, yourself in it, and it's not going to be all rainbows and roses, it's, it's, it's a lot, so shadow work is kind of going back, reliving a little bit of that, um, having an understanding and really, really understanding what happened to you as a kid, and, accepting it, healing from it. Um, it sounds really great, but it's heavy and it's not easy. I'm not going to get too much into shadow work in this. I just wanted to point the word out. So if you wanted to do some information, you can. Um, but the point of spirituality to me is shadow work. Like dark spirituality is kind of, I feel like what they call it. Um, it's huge. So it's more important than being like super positive and only attracting good things because I mean, 555, five, five, I have it tattooed here. This shows you need to let go of negative circumstances to make room for positive opportunity. You need to do your shadow work in order to open up all that space for positive things to come in. So 
I hope you learned something from this video and it benefited you. If it did, please give it a like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, definitely subscribe for different videos. There's so many that I have that could probably benefit you. So I hope you liked this video and I'll see you guys all in my next. Bye guys. Bye.